In this screencast we're going to be looking at how we can use the collocations tool to investigate colligation, that is collocation with a grammatical class or part of speech. So the example we had was the verb lend which is quite an interesting one and if we search for all forms of lend we'll get 2858 hits which should give us plenty of data. So we then we go to the collocations tool, leave the default settings, and we can have a look at various things which are people lend or are lent, so lend money as we might expect, lend credence, another interesting one. Okay, so what we're going to look at is collocation. So this means looking at the collocations on part of speech tags and we were interested in what comes immediately after lend what kind of parts of speech come next and that's all we need to know for now so if we submit these change parameters we'll notice we get a, a list of tags which are most strongly collocated uh, with the word you're interested in now if you're not sure what these mean just a quick reminder that they are easy to find from the, the, the basic, the standard query page. If we go to simple query syntax help, come down here, and at the bottom of this, we have a list of all the tags which are used. So we've got PNX, so we can check what that is. Reflexive pronoun. Now, of course, we might well be able to guess this anyway by looking at the actual list of co-occurrences. So let's try that too. And of course, it's pretty obvious that these are all reflexive pronouns. What is also interesting is that we have quite a, a, a strong pattern here. Perhaps we should show them in random order. I don't think that will affect the pattern. We have lend, then reflexive pronoun, then to. So often it's something lends itself to analysis, so it's it's particularly suited to, or it's it's good for this particular kind of exercise or thing. So that's the reflexive ones. Going back, PNP is uh, of course pronouns. Again, we could check, find that out quite easily by going here. And this is what we might call the uh, the prototypical meaning of lend. You know, lend me some money, that's ten thousand pounds, or lend me, you know, lend somebody uh, one's possessions, that kind of thing. And the the third one, the third highest collocate, this DPS. If we have a look at these. We've got uh, it's the possessive pronouns or determiners, um, and as noted in the unit, we often have what seem to be quite um, abstract nouns, so support, expertise, weight, voice, name. These are the kind of nouns which are lent. So this is really quite an, an interesting way of investigating how the different meanings of a word uh, are associated with different collocates and colligates.